Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in my this particular video I am going to discuss how you can fill the hole or background part present in between your object part that is region filling okay this is widely used algorithm in image processing especially for binary image processing in this video I am going to give you the intuition or theoretical background required for understanding this particular algorithm in my next video I will be showing you the MATLAB implementation so suppose I am having this particular image okay consider this black pixels as our object and the white as background okay that is you can consider this black as 1 and the white as 0. Generally in practical image processing we take the reverse that is white as 1 black as 0 but for the theoretical expansion only I have taken like this. Now you can understand this object is looking like I said okay if you consider the black as object but there is a hole present inside the particular object which is this particular inner part this one observe the mouse pointer. So this particular hole we want to fill okay using black pixels okay that so that it will look completely one bigger eye okay this one we want to fill and as a result our whole eye will look like compact and no hole will present inside it this we want to implement okay that is the idea of region filling now for region filling we take one structuring element which is the diamond structuring element always we take the diamond structuring element only okay so here this is one this is one this is one this is one and this particular part is one and these parts are zero as you know in morphological image processing i have used this particular structuring element in several application now what we will do in in this particular algorithm we require the complement of the original image so we'll be taking the complement of this particular original image and we'll be getting this black became white and white became black now we will start applying our structuring element and apply the dilation technique from one particular pixel and remember this what is the starting pixel starting pixel will be this one okay why this one because this is the first pixel of our hole okay this is the hole and this is the first pixel right where hole is starting from that point we will start applying our structuring element okay all right so where this is present where so if you consider row wise if you consider this row one then two then three then this is one this is two this is three right now hole is by default background generally in image so that is basically what that is basically zero generally in case of image uh, binary image in practical case what we do we take hole that means background part as zero that is black part so this particular part is zero because this is the first pixel of our hole but we will make this one okay so what we will do we will start from such image for which the three cross uh, at the pixel three comma three there will be one and we will start applying our structuring element and dilation technique on that so the algorithm this is the formula for implementing the algorithm later you will understand what is the significance of this formula but first let us check the concept which i have told you see at 3 comma 3 we are having the pixel this is one and we are applying this particular dilation symbol as you know we are applying the dilation technique using this particular structuring element and as you know if we apply this structuring element due to dilation what happens that expansion happens okay so as uh, when you superimpose the structuring element on this particular pixel this particular part which will not fit that will also become one okay so as a result we will be getting this one right now whatever we will be getting here we will what we will do understand it very carefully we are taking now this particular image and we are complementing we are taking intersection of this particular one with this one that is original Im image complement okay so that is this output it take intersection with the complement of our original image that is if you take the intersection simply you will be getting this why because if you check this particular part and here this particular part only we are getting common okay how we can understand see just join this one just let me show you for this particular case as this is the first case so uh, 
all right so if you consider grid like this see here our a complement has pixel that is pixel part from here right this is what this is 3 cross 3 this is 3 row number 3 this is column number 6 this is 3 cross 3 and for our image this particular part this row number is 3 but column number is 2 and as a result this one will not fit here because these two are not matching so matching is starting only this particular part and our a complement matching so that only this part we are taking right now this one what we will do apply the same algorithm again on this particular image so what we will do we will apply dilation using diamond structuring element on this particular image and then whatever we will be getting output as dilation that we will take intersection with a complement okay that is complement of our original image so see this is our output of our previous stage we are taking dilation so if due to the application of dilation what will happen see for this particular pixel if you consider a central pixel the dilation result will be like this it will come right and when you will consider this particular pixel as central pixel, the dilation output will look like this. So as a result, the overall dilated form will look like this. Okay. That's what we are getting here. Now, if you take intersection in between your original image complement and this output, what will happen? You will be getting this one, right? And again, you can check by just simply drawing okay uh, connecting the grids you will be getting the only intersection output as this one now what we will do we will again take this particular image we will apply dilation using our this particular structuring element okay and then we will take intersection of that particular dilated output with our original image complement okay so see same we are taking previously output and um, the output we have got in previous step we are taking dilation we are getting this one okay simple dilation output no need to think anything just expand the boundary part if you just expand the boundary part using the structuring element you will be getting like this right so that's what we are getting here okay the simple struct, uh, diamond shape structuring element apply dilation and then take intersection with original image complement you will be getting this then next step take this one apply dilation and you will be getting this take intersection of the original with respect to original image complement you will be getting this now take that uh, image we, what, what we have got in our previous stage take dilation and you will be getting this take complement with take intersection with the complemented form of our original image you will be getting this now take this one apply dilation you will be getting this take intersection with the original image complement you will be getting this okay now take this one and apply dilation okay what will happen try to understand if you apply dilation on this particular image as i have told you that the image boundary part will be expanded right so basically it will go like this only i am simply a expanding the boundary because as you know that dilation expands the boundary part okay and we will be getting the complete part as black now again if you take intersection with the original image complement you will be getting this eye only okay that is this particular structure if i just remove this particular border so what will happen this particular image where the red particular highlighted part shaded part is also basically black and that one if you take intersection with original image complement you will be again get back this okay so as a result what will happen see after taking intersection whatever result we have we will achieve that is nothing but the output of the previous stage so we will stop doing further iteration okay so that is the formula which i have written earlier x of k that is the image which we will use for our next iteration is equal to the image which we have achieved in our previous iteration okay dilation with our structuring element and that structuring element after dilation we will take intersection with our original image complement okay so this is the overall formula of our what of our region filling and when we will stop iterating further as soon as x of k minus 1 will be equal to x of k okay 
That's what I have written here. Let P be a pixel in a region surrounded by an 8 connected boundary A. Okay. So, 8 count. Uh, so, A, understand it very carefully. What is this P? You know. See, this P is nothing but which I have shown you in the beginning part. That is, this is our actually hollow part present in our original image. So, we will take the first pixel where the hole is appearing first. Okay, this one we have taken. So, this was initially 0, but we have taken that as 1, right? So, this is the P value, okay? So, that's what here it is written. Let P be a pixel in the region surrounded by 8 connected boundary A. The goal of a region filling algorithm is to fill up the entire region with 1s using P as a starting point. So, we will set that P to 1 as we have set it earlier in our algorithm also. Region filling can be accomplished using iterative procedure mathematically expressed as x of k equal to x of k minus 1 dilation with b where b is my structuring element cross shaped structuring element or we said diamond structuring element and that we take intersection with the original image complement where a is the original image okay and k equal to 1 2 3 so on okay so that's that you know so if you put k equal to 1 x of k equal to x of 1 minus 1 that is x of 0 dilation with b intersection with a complement so, x sub 0 is what? x sub 0 is nothing but p, that is the first pixel which from where we are starting our iteration. And b is the cross shaped structuring element. The algorithm stops when kth iteration as soon as x of k equal to x of k minus 1. The union of x of k and a contains the original boundary a and all the pixels within it labeled as 1. This is very, very important step. Try to understand what I mean to say using this line. This is what we have what we have achieved finally if, as soon as if you take intersection in between this image, you will be getting by this right now this is not the answer what you need to do see if you consider our original image our original image has hole in this particular part but we have uh, using our algorithm we are we are able to make this particular hollow part as one that is hollow part converted to object now this particular part you need to take union with your original image. Your original image was looking like this, right? Our original image was like this. Well, now wherever black eye is present, there previously there was white part, that is, that was hollow part. But now that is also filled and previously, this is our original image which the boundary was already one. So now if you take union, basically whole part will become one and as a result the hollow part present inside our original object will be filled and in, in this way we can achieve the region filling in binary image okay so that is the case the union of x of k and a contains the original boundary a and all the pixels within it labeled as one okay so i hope the concept is clear to you this is the intuition or theoretical algorithm behind the actual concept in my next video, I'll be showing you the MATLAB implementation. Thank you for watching.